Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Morko Pinar and today I'm going to discuss the topic of ringworm in horses. Ringworm is a skin infection caused by a fungus. It affects humans as well as companion animals such as cats, dogs and horses. This disease is very common and often spreads quite quickly through an entire stable. To illustrate this topic, let's show you a couple of typical cases. The lesions consist of circular patches of hair loss. They can affect any part of the body, but are usually predominant on the face of the animal. On this first horse, the lesions are quite subtle, and you can notice small circular patches of hair loss. Apart from the skin disease, affected individuals are usually in good condition and do not seem to be itchy or in any discomfort. The second case is a Frisian horse affected by more severe and obvious disease. As you can appreciate, the patches of hair loss are much bigger. The disease affects not only the facial skin but the entire body. Again, the horse does not seem to be in any discomfort. Despite its name, ringworm is not caused by a worm. It's actually caused by a fungus called a dermatophyte. Two different types of ringworm can infect horses. These are called microsporum and trichophyton. It is important to know that both can affect a wide range of animal species as well as humans. And this explains why the disease may be introduced into a stable through many different routes. Once in a stable, ringworm can be transmitted from one horse to another by direct contact. However, contaminated tack or grooming equipment can also transfer infected fungal spores between animals. Not only are ringworm spores very resistant in the environment, they can remain on the skin for up to three weeks before clinical signs develop. That explains how the disease can spread in your stable before any animals appear to be affected. The skin lesions are usually very characteristic. However, in some cases, it is necessary to confirm the diagnosis. Your veterinarian will then perform skin scrapes and hair plucks on the edge of an active lesion. Back at the surgery, he will be able to examine the sample under the microscope. On occasion, it will be possible to identify the fungus straight away. However, the best way to diagnose ringworm is to send the sample to an external laboratory for culture. The treatment consists of bathing affected areas with antifungal solutions. This application will be repeated several times according to your veterinarian's instructions. We also recommend you clean the skin and remove scabs, damaged hair and any debris before applying the antifungal solution. Following treatment, Spreading of the lesion should stop and affected areas should get back to normal with new hair growing out quickly. It's worth noting that oral treatment might prove necessary in severe generalized cases. Every horse that develops skin lesions of any type must be isolated. The vet should be called and the horse treated immediately. Of course, other general preventative procedures apply for ringworm as well as any other ailments. If a new horse is introduced to a stable, he must be kept in quarantine for two weeks. Also, sharing of tack and equipment between horses of unknown health status should be avoided. Well, that concludes this video podcast. Thank you for listening and remember to check out vetstoria.com for further video podcasts and feel free to leave any comments or suggestions for future topics. Goodbye.